All right, I'm going to show you how to um, work with live paint tools in Illustrator. All right, let's get to it. So this is the Illustrator interface. You'll have your art in the center of the artboard. Um, it might be broken up into some layers. In this case, mine is not, but it can be. Um, but for now, all you have to do is a simple process. Select um, what you need. Um, just one note. Live paint generally only works with closed spaces, so you'll see what I mean in a second. Certain things you might have to edit or add lines to make work correctly. Um, first things first, select the geometry. Next, object, live paint, make. Simple, object, live paint, make. Or if you don't want to do that, you can release it, but there you go, you can select make. Now you will need to be able to paint. So the shortcut is K for Kilo, K on your keyboard, or it's this button over here, Shape Builder. You can just click and hold on the Shape Builder and uh, you'll get to the Live Paint tool. Now all you do is set a color. So click, double click here to select a color. Okay, and then you can move in and select areas that you'd like to color. So as I said, it only fills, it only works with filled colors. If you press Alt on your keyboard or Option, you can select a color and then continue to paint. So if you've already built a palette up here, um, remember that you can bring libraries in from Adobe Color, um, color.adobe.com. Inside color.adobe, you can extract an image. Uh, you can extract from an image. Do that. Select one of these, save it. So save to your library, and then ultimately update into your, into Illustrator. It should theoretically show up in here if you update this. Um, so once you've done that, this is a simple live painting process. You can of course, um, you can to use one of these colors. You can right click on it, and you can say um, add color to swatches. And then you can go to your swatches right here and you'll see that your swatch will have been added here and so you can select your colors and continue to paint um, one last thing if you've done this and you'd like to turn the line weight off you can uh, always click up here and select off Click up here, and select the no no stroke button, and you'll see that it removes all of the lines. One last thing, if you press K, you can drag select to paint multiple things. Um, one last thing, if your if your colors don't import correctly through your library, inside Adobe.color, um, once you've once you've looked at this, once you've extracted from this library, you can go to your themes. And then we look at your library. Here's our latest one. And all you have to do is click the copy button here. One last thing, you can edit a copy in Adobe Color. It's an excellent way to build color sets. And you can click on a color here to set as the base color and then build triad, monochromatic, complementary, etc. Use one of these to complete your work. Um, all right, this interface you can explore yourself. That's the live paint tool as it stands. Um, remember, you can, if you'd like to paint the background, you can either place an entire sheet at the back. Just remember, no, I'll just give us no fill for now. See, it's another way you can also set no fill over here on the left. You can select and right click, and um, so you can select them together, and you can go to object, live paint, and you can merge them if you want to add them together. That way, you can paint the background. So, in this case, maybe you want to paint the background a very subtle green. And there's your end result. This can be saved as a PDF, etc. All right, that's it.